Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next video. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we go about completing the Building and Furniture Technology SBA for the CXC exam. <music> So for the building and furniture technology SBA, it has five major components and those five components are the core, the site work operations project, or the basic architectural drawing project, um, the construction project, and the furniture technology project. All right, so we'll start with the core. Now for the core, it's worth a total of 30 marks. 10 marks for knowledge and 20 marks for understanding and there is no marks for application because it's not that difficult there's nothing there's no practical aspect of this um, involved in this so it's just um, knowledge and understanding just written stuff so the first thing is the organization um, of a selected construction industry so for that what you'll need to do is to have like an organizational structure for a construction industry so for example let's say you selected um the prefabricated um concrete walls and you're looking at that industry so then you're going to look at how, how does information flow within that industry where does the raw materials come from and so on and so forth um and who distributes the final product and everything like that and you can find examples of organizational structures online like the top down structure the matrix structure so on and so forth so it might be that there are certain companies that supply raw materials and then they are you know companies that use those materials to build those pre um, prefabricated walls and then pass them on to the client or the people who, who need them and stuff like that so you're just looking at how information flows within um, a certain um, construction industry and you get three marks for doing that. So it's just three marks. The entire SBA is worth 150. So it's not a lot because it's just three marks. The important thing is to have like an organizational structure. So an image showing how information flows and the type of organizational structure. And again, you can find information on that online. And then you do the same thing for a manufacturing industry. So any manufacturing industry, whether it be the car manufacturing industry, any type of manufacturing industry. And you just do the same thing. You look at how, um, you know, things flow in that industry, how the industry works, um, or are things set up within that industry. You know, who supplies the raw materials, who supplies, um, you know, the different parts, so on and so forth, and, uh, and everything like that. So just looking at how information flow, how things work within that specific industry. All right. And then you're going to have a set of safety rules. So you need 10 safety rules. You, got, you have like 10 safety rules, you get 4 marks just for having 10 safety rules. Um, workshop safety rules, of course. And you get 4 marks just for that. The next thing is the report of an accident. Alright, so you're going to be reporting an accident. So for the accident report, you're, what you're basically doing is just um, reporting an, an accident. So, for example, you will, you will come up with an with a with a situation it doesn't have to be something real so you'll come up with a situation and say you know this person was injured on the job during this time this is what happened so on and so forth and there are different templates that you can find so the information that you need for the accident report is the time a detailed um, account of what happened from your point of view you will need to um, make a note of who you're writing the letter to and who the accident happened to and who it's coming from which would be you all right, so you need like date and time and just precise information about what happened. Again, if you f if you search for um, accident report templates, you can find a lot of different templates that work well um, online. All right, so small business plan. So for the small business plan, it's not going to be a detailed business plan. All right, it's going to be something simple. For the small business plan. Um, it's going to be it's not going to be like a detailed business plan because it's just simple it's not like this is not principles of business all right this is building technology but the idea of having a small business plan involved in the sba when you finish high school 
if you just have your you know your CXC building tech technical drawing mechanical technology or anything electrical technology because you'd have to do the business plan for electrical or mechanical as well so the reason for having that is so that you know you could understand how business work and you can you know go off on your own you know start if you do mechanical you can start doing like your own welding you do um construction you can you know work on a construction site on different aspects of it and so on and so forth same thing for electrical technology so it's nothing major so you just come up with a small business plan you kind of have a business name and a business logo um you describe the business just state what you plan to do with the business what you plan to achieve what what products or service you're going to offer um justification of location here this just you're just justify justifying where you choose to put your justifying where justifying why you choose to put your building the place you did so for example you wouldn't want to put a, a construction company or a construction business in the middle of a residential area first of all you wouldn't be given the permission to do it um so you would have you would it would be best for you or better if you put it in a location where um there are other there are lots of other construction companies within that area so that you know it would be easier for you to integrate within that space or it doesn't have to be like different construction companies but like people who supply different raw materials so people who su supply like gravel sand steel cement and stuff like that and then you being a construction company you you're right in that area things would, would flow a lot smoother because you're able to get materials a lot easier because they're right next to you and so on so you justify your um location all right so selection of appropriate labor so you're basically going to speak about um why oh you're going to go about selecting your labor you're going to go about selecting people to work how many workers you're going to need for each position what are they going to do so on and so forth role of the entrepreneur you're going to describe your role as an entrepreneur what are you going to be doing on a daily basis to maintain the business and so on what types of goods and services are you going to offer you're going to mean you're going to mention that as well quality control measures what are you going to do to ensure that you are working within the um laws you're not breaking laws or anything quality control to ensure that you know the quality of your products or services um would be maintained use of technology or you're going to, or are you going to incorporate technology in your business potential for growth what um how large do you think the business can get and how would the business get to that stage you know how, how far are you looking at are you looking at like regional are you looking at like like nationwide you know regional in the caribbean international and so on you know how are you what are you looking at in terms of expanding the business government regulations there are regulations that you need to adhere to so you need to make mention of those and how you will go about doing that and how you will um you know run the business in an ethical manner so, so that's a small business plan um it's not too difficult it's not too technical it is so far it is the, um the part of the sba that contains the most information so far but um yeah and you can find templates for that so it's not that difficult it's just about understanding what is required and then presenting that all right so after the small business plan you need um a design analysis of a simple manufactured product so what this here means what that means is that we are supposed to know get an image for example all right so you download an image anything that can be manufactured a cell phone a computer a bag of shoes anything and you're going to describe that using the different design elements and principles all right and you can research the different design elements and principles the elements of design will be like the the basics the things that make up a design so the lines the shapes so on and so forth the colors while the um principles would be things like variety unity balance you know is the object symmetrical so on and so forth so you're just describing it so let's say you don't load like a chair uh you're, you're you're talking about the chair what are the lines are the lines curved are your straight lines um what's the shape so you're seeing you're seeing rectangles maybe what is the color let's say it's brown because let's say it's in its natural wooden state so it's brown and it has a you know wooden color um and so forth is it symmetrical if you cut the chair in half will one half be equal to the next half depending on how you cut it um that may be yes or no and so on so you describe you're just describing it based on the design principles and elements 
and for doing that you get five marks and then it says powerpoint presentation information communication technology powerpoint presentation five marks for a powerpoint presentation and the powerpoint doesn't necessarily have to be a construction related um powerpoint it just has it can be a powerpoint about anything as long as it has um about 10 slides you know if you have about 10 slides and then on your last slide you would have your references and mention where you got the information from and so on and with that now we would complete the that would conclude the core aspect of the building tech sba all right so from there we would move on to the site work operations project this is a practical project and for this project well what will happen is that you and your teacher would set out a building so you would set out a building on underground underground and you would um identify your different corners of the building work out how you go about setting out the wall width um, the trenches for the building how you go about preparing your profile boards what what do you need or do you find your data on points and so on and for this your teacher will go through this with you because this is a practical project all right there are three practical projects for the sba the site work operations project the um furniture project and the concrete project so it says layout of a building so establishing base or building lines so what your teacher will do is establish a baseline and tell you how you go, how you go about doing that and you will take pictures to ensure that you can put those pictures in your SBA so that the moderators who are marking the SBA can see that you actually did the work and you're not just writing stuff. Establishing corner profiles, you know, how do you go about establishing the corner profiles of the building? Again, your teacher will do this, it's a practical SBA. Ensuring the layout is square. Square just means that ensuring that the corners are at 90 degrees or at right angles. And how do you go about doing that? There are different methods, the three, four, five method, the diagonal method, and so on. And the teacher will go through that and take pictures to have those to add to your SBA portfolio. Establishing trench and wall width. You have to describe how you go about doing that. All right, good. And you would you would do that practically with string and so on. And the teacher will go through that with you. And you get ten marks for doing that. Then we have the basic architectural drawing project. This and the core are the only two parts of the SBA which are not practical projects. So for this, it says design slash redesign of a building component. So what you're going to do is to come up with a building problem. It doesn't have to be a real problem. So this building problem of a building component could be that a window is too small or too narrow, a door is too narrow or too small, a stairway is too steep, or it could be that you know a wall is kind of shaky, not really, you know, built properly a gate isn't built properly like any 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 building component and then so you identify that problem right so it's like here um here so you identify the problem all right so the problem in this case is that there's a wall that is not built properly the wall is built like this are the bricks laid on top of each other like this so that we have vertical continuous joints like continuous vertical joints and that makes that that means that the wall is not sturdy because that means that it's easy for the wall to break at the different vertical lines all right so that's the problem so then you come up with possible solutions it has to be more than one solution so for example here it says one possible solution is to use a stretcher bond you know so you fix that by doing by doing this all right building the wall in this way so we have a stretch bond like that okay and we could also use an English bond, which is the next type of brick bonding. It's just a different way to lay out the bricks to ensure that you don't have continuous vertical joints. And that's why we, we um, build brick walls like this, so to avoid continuous vertical joints. So she, she could use, in this case, this person could use a stretcher bond or a head bond, or an English bond, sorry, to so solve this problem. So the next thing you need is description of the problem. So the description was provided. Four marks for that and then six marks for describing the problem and then we need our orthographic drawings and for the orthographic drawings it's like this we have the wall it's the front of the wall the top of the wall and the side of the wall the front the top the side all right 
so whatever it is if it's a window the first you draw the front of the window the top and the side and the, you draw the correct projection symbol whether it's first angle or third angle orthographic projection so you draw the correct projection symbol all right and i will attach a link to this video um, in the description that will link you to a video that shows you how to do first angle and third angle orthographic projection and how to draw the correct projection symbols so yeah so whatever it is whether it's a door it's a wall it's a roof it's a staircase anything you'd have to draw the front view the side view and the plan view sort of a full art arm um, orthographic projection um and for the side view it, this will be it could be any side depending on what it could be any side whether you want to do the left side or the right side all right so that was provided so the next thing you need is a list of material and cost so it says here list of material and cost so for that what are the things that you'll need to solve the problem in this case this person needs six bags of cement two yards of sand a number of bricks timber um steel string and so on and the cost of it um and we use put the cost in your local currency in this case this is in jamaican dollars all right um steps of procedure so the next thing is the steps of procedure here how you would go about um constructing the project completing the project and that's worth 10 marks here and the list of and materials on cost is worth eight marks total of 40 marks so this part of the sb is the part of the sb that is worth the most marks all right this part is worth 40 marks all right so steps and procedures so you're just basically step by step how you're going to go about completing that wall you know what are some of the steps involved everything that you'll need to do all right everything you you need to do some um demolition so dem demolish the entire wall then prepare for the wall to be constructed construct the wall and everything like that and the steps involved so you just outline step by step what you need to do to complete the project good and then that would complete the basic architectural joint project worth 40 marks and then we have the construction project and the furniture technology project which are practical projects all right so your teacher will come up with a construction project and for the construction project it just has to be something using concrete um it could be something simple like building lawn tiles it could be something um more advanced like you know building a staircase building walls so on and so forth and so the first thing you need is a pictorial sketch so we'll have a pictorial sketch and pictorial could mean isometric or orthographic or oblique and then there are other pictorials as well but the, the most um, common ones are isometric and orthographic all right so you could do that sketch in isometric or orthographic projection so you'll make a sketch of whatever it is that you're making um it says sketch but you do a, you, if you do a detailed drawing that that's good um and that works well and dimension it and everything like that so if it's a staircase, you draw the staircase with the proper dimensions, you draw the wall, you draw the window and stuff like that. And you get three marks for doing so. Procedure. List the procedures involved in doing that. So for the project for this project, your teacher will decide what you, you make. Alright? And then you'll do a report on that. And you'll take pictures as you go along um, throughout the pro um the project so that there will be proof that you did the work. The list of materials oh, this will be done in groups as, as well well it could be done in groups depending on how large the project is so list of materials so four marks are providing the list of materials involved layout and construction how did you go about laying out and constructing this project joints what kind of joints were involved when you were making this project for if it's a full concrete project there might not be that many joints involved but when you're building your formwork, you could have used mitre joints or butt joints or different kind of joints to complete your formwork for your concrete project. So you would involve that and take pictures of those joints. Assembly. How did you go about assembling the different um, components? Finish. How was the finish? Was it was it a good finish? How did, how did you go about finishing it? Was it painted? Was it left in its natural concrete state? How did you go about finishing it all right and then the teacher will mark you based on two things based on the report that they provided and based on the actual work that you did and how your project actually came out 
and you will get 35 marks total for that. All right, so furniture technology project now. So for the furniture technology project, it's similar to the construction project and the mark scheme is the same, except for the fact that for this one, you'll be making um, a furniture piece and wood will be the main material for this project. So pictorial sketch, same thing, provide a drawing of what it is that you're making. A teacher will decide what you make, whether you want to make, you know, coffee tables, you want to make bookshelves, whatever it is that you want to make. If you want to make beds or anything either. Procedure, you list the procedure involved in completing this project. List of materials. What are the different materials that you need to complete the project? Are you used to complete the project? Layout and construction, how, you, how did you go about constructing the project? Joints, what are the joints used? Um, in a furniture project, you'll have more joints than in a concrete project. So you may mention all those joints, take pictures of the different joints, and so on. Assembly, how did you go about assembling the project? Was it nailed, screwed, glued and screwed? How was it um, joined? Finish, how, how, how was it finished? Was it um, painted? Was it varnished? Was it stained? What kind of finish did you use on the project? All right. So that now completes the building and furniture technology SBA. And that is worth a total of 150 marks. And the SBA is worth 50% of your overall grade. So if you can get anywhere close to the 150 for the SBA, then you will be going into the exam with almost 50%, which is basically almost like a grade three. And then from there, just work your way up to a distinction. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like, a subscription, and you can comment down in the comment section below um, to let me know what other videos you would like to see. All right. So thank you for watching and have yourselves a fantastic day.